Hello everybody. Wow, that was a quick wave. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a lead rope like this one to not in use because um, lots of people have these lead ropes or just lead ropes for horses and ponies and donkeys, mm, those type of animals. But sometimes they just leave them dangling and sometimes they can get tangled together or, you know, they can get quite annoying because they're really long. Or at least mine is, it's taller than me and I'm like 1 meter 60, so it's quite long. <laughs> so, why was that laugh so awkward? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to make this and how to tie it up like this. It's super organized. I also just put this little strap on it for today, just for fun. Um, I'm actually uh, not at the stables, as you can see. This is my cousin's bedroom. Um, but he's somewhere else currently he's in a different room he's in the room right next to this way <laughs> but uh so i'm just filming in here this is the leader i'm gonna be showing you how to tie it up like this it's a very common way to tie lead ropes up and i'm gonna be showing you how to do that so let's get started so um i just had a little quick drink break Sorry, my cousins keep disturbing me and so it is my brother. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to tie this up. Let's get started. I just, I'm literally just untying this and I just love this part. Let me show you how satisfying it is. Ready? As soon as I let go, it will start untying it. Wait, come on! <laughs> yeah, it's really long. Look. Oh, okay. Bottom. Super long. Super long. It's probably like two meters or something. Really tall. So, what you're gonna wanna do first is this room is really messy. I'm gonna be cleaning this room afterwards just for a video. I'm trying to do some good stuff. So, yeah. So, this. It's the lead rope on the ground. So what you're gonna wanna do is like one and a half hands of your hands basically. So you put one and then you kind of like put, okay, I need two hands. And then what you do is put like half, okay. Then what you do is, let me just figure out a way to put this in the frame so you can see. Wait, sorry. So now you can see I think. So we've got one and a half. And all you do is you put it like this on top over. So you've got like a loop which is one and a half of your hands, of your hand, whatever. And then what you do is you take this excess and you tie it just like this around as tight as possible. Yeah, sometimes it might feel like you're running out of space, but you're actually not. So this subject causes me to do it a few times because it actually takes some time. Or it feels like I'm running out of rope, but I'm actually not just like, not tying it tight enough. Right? That's a trick task for me to tie it as tight as possible. Okay, once you've got like a decent amount left, or just some left, what you're gonna do is you see this little area here, like that. Then what you're gonna do is just gonna put this, like, a, like just put it in through this hole anywhere you like, and then just gonna pull that this way. And then, it basically shows you how much break you have left. So this is my how it turned out. So what you wanna do then, is if you have a lot of rope left, what you're gonna do is take out this string, and pull it as hard as you can and keep going around. This makes it so easy. And so now when you have like this tiny little bit left, put it in. And you're trying to get like so small amount of ending. And then you've got something like this. So you have a small amount of ending and then put it in because it does get longer as you pull it. And then when you're done with that, You've got a big, nice, long piece like this. It's got a small ending. And then, of course, to untie it, you take it out 
and then it unties and you saw how satisfying it was really satisfying and so that is how you do it so let me just take it to my blue background which is so nice so then you go you've got it tied up a lot of people know how to tie a lead rope or I don't know what you call it but I call it a lead rope a lot of people know how to but some of those who don't or some of those who want to get a lead rope or have one and just don't know how to tie tie it I'm teaching you how to do it or I just taught you how to do it and it really is neat and if you have a halter you can clip it to the halter so when you put on a halter on a horse then you well, then you can just go straight away untie it and you're ready so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it wasn't as long as my normal videos, but some of mine are longer, I mean shorter, but those are ones where I don't talk. This one's actually talking and me teaching you. So yep, this is how it looks like. And yep, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and, give, and uh, click the notifications bell. And also give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.